This is Jareth Monroe, exercise physiologist for Ohio Health Cardiac Rehab. And with this presentation, we'll be discussing symptom management, angina, and weight gain. You should call your doctor if you have trouble sleeping or lying flat. You notice more shortness of breath with the same amount of exertion. You gain two to three pounds in a day or five pounds in a week. You have an increase in swelling in your feet or legs. You have an irregular heart rhythm, which is new to you. You are having unusually high or low blood sugars. You need to use your as needed nitroglycerin on a regular basis. Angina is a symptom of poor blood flow to the heart muscle. Some people have chronic angina. This means it is constant. Symptoms of angina and a heart attack will be very similar. Heart attack symptoms will often be more severe and will not go away with usual angina treatment. Some common symptoms of angina, pressure or heaviness in the chest, upper back, neck, jaw or arms, shortness of breath, nausea, or severe fatigue. Common triggers of angina include exertion, which increases the heart's oxygen demand, eating a large meal, which routes blood away from the heart and to the gut, exposure to cold temperatures, which causes blood vessels to narrow, emotion can cause adrenaline rush, high altitude, smoking, and illness can be other triggers for angina as well. If you get angina, slow down, or better yet, stop and rest. Take nitroglycerin if angina does not go away with rest. Give your body time to restore oxygen to the heart. How to use nitroglycerin. Keep your nitroglycerin with you and make sure it is not expired. If you have severe or worsening angina at any time, call 911. Do not wait. If you develop angina at rest or which does not go away quickly with rest a few minutes, take the first dose. Wait five minutes, and if the angina is improving but not gone, take a second dose. Wait another five minutes. If the angina is not gone, take a third dose and call 911. At that point, you should also chew a full strength 325 milligram aspirin or four baby aspirin. The 911 operator will guide you. Wait for an ambulance and do not drive yourself or have someone else drive you. Some differences between angina and a heart attack. Angina will last anywhere from one to two minutes. In its relation to exercise, it'll subside once you stop that exercise, and it responds well to the nitroglycerin after you take it. It's a gradual onset, which means it will slowly build up in pain or pressure or heaviness. Some say with a heart attack, they feel a sense of doom, and some other associated symptoms and signs for a heart attack include nausea, vomiting, cold sweat, and ashen color which you do not see with angina. How to grade your angina. Grade one is mild, very little, pressure, pain, etc. Angina that will go away when you slow down or rest. Grade two is a little worse than grade one. The angina goes away quickly with rest and or nitroglycerin tab. Grade three is worse than grade two. You may feel it in other parts of your body, such as the neck, jaw, back, shoulders, or arms, and you may also have shortness of breath. This angina needs rest and nitroglycerin to go away. Grade four is the worst angina you have ever had. This concludes our presentation on angina.